I don't want to say exploding because that's that's really bad. Uh, hi, I'm Matthew Sheridan. I work with uh, Energia Engineering. I'm Ozuma Seigler and I work at S&P Global. I'm Billy Babas. I work for the Stockholm Environment Institute. Hi, I'm Alexander and I am the founder of Ethereal. And my name is Kidar Patel. I am an associate at Hennessy Capital Group. I'm Leopoldo Garcia. I work for Nano Nuclear Energy. I'm Ross Mitchell. I'm with Nano Nuclear Energy. I love nuclear power. I think it's the best clean energy technology. It is where we need innovation and it's where we need deployment. I'm really interested in like climate and I was just around here in New York. Uh, I feel it's an event where all of the participants and interest people in nuclear energy are joining to share their thoughts about where the sector is growing, uh, the growth that we see, the potential we see, and where we want its future to go. So it's very interesting to come here and meet people and share the same interests. Mm -hmm. Always excited to see Isabel Bomecki speak. I think mm -hmm. she's an incredible uh, communicator, and Madison Hilly, who's also really cool, is moderating it. So I'm look, looking forward to that panel. I think uh, Justin Driscoll is speaking from the New York Power Authority, which would be great to hear more about what that procurement process is looking like of that gigawatt of energy in New York. So someone that I'm really excited to see are my CTO, our CTO for Manor Nuclear Energy, Foron Taidet, and uh, J.U., the founder and president of Nano Nuclear Energy. I was very interested in the panel earlier with the Florent was in uh, over technical challenges for nuclear industry challenges, what we need to see in the future, that kind of stuff. I would like to actually learn more about what are the challenges and barriers against the deployment and specific from the industry perspective and what um, policy advancements can be leveraged to help deployment. I am curious about just like electricity market form broadly, like what changes we can make to the existing structure of markets that would give the revenue necessary to support nuclear and make it more bankable, financeable. Something that I would love to know about is how much growth we'll see in the next few years. Where is nuclear going to go? Beyond, is it going to go beyond our expectations? Sprouting. I think it's pretty interesting. It's been great, fun. Engaging. Revolutionary. Exciting. <laughs>